We are two weeks away from the president-elect Donald Trump officially being sworn in as the 45th president of the United States, and dozens of college students from central Massachusetts are making the trip to the nation's capital for this year's inauguration. Our Andy Madison joins us with the details on the group's trip. Andy? Good evening, Brittany. Whether it was in a politics class or a history class, this past year's election was one that many were talking about and many teachers were teaching about in the classroom. And for Nichols College, those lessons will continue in the ultimate field trip in a couple weeks to Washington, D.C. As a self-described political geek, Professor Erica Cornelia Smith is excited for the opportunity she has with her students to show them how politics works outside of the classroom. This was a very unique election, so we thought it might be interesting to create an interdisciplinary course with psych and political science and take a group of students to the inauguration itself. Nichols senior Angelina Butler is one of 23 students going to the nation's capital. I'm just really excited to go and see what it's like, and I, I don't have any expectations. I'm just going with an open mind and, you know, ready to learn more. For many students, it'll be their first time in Washington, D.C. The group leaves this weekend and will be in D.C. for two weeks. Seeing the inauguration is just one part of the experience. We will be participating in a simulation. So at the end of all of the academic sites, the students get to actually put together uh, a federal budget based on all the policy stuff they've been talking about all week. Students were chosen on a first come, first serve basis and filled out an application prior to the election. There is no political science major at Nichols. But the trip could go a long way toward influencing the future generation to consider a career in public office. It's about this sort of larger conversation of creating um, collaboration and working together no matter what your party ID is, no matter who your candidate was. So everybody who deposited by November 8th, all 23 students, we didn't lose a single one after the election. I think that um, having knowledge about you know, the election and, and politics and all the policies, especially like the hands-on experience that we'll be getting in D.C. will allow people to have an open mind and, um, you know, not be so left-wing, right-wing. Now, Nichols College is getting to do this thanks to an organization called the Washington Center. That's who they'll be partnering up with in D.C. They are actually leaving on Sunday, and they will be there in the days leading up to the inauguration. And, Brittany, get this, they actually get to miss the first week of classes at Nichols College. That's pretty cool. A big bunch of lucky college kids. <laughs> Thank you, Andy, for following that.